<laughs> yeah, again, almost 10 seconds, speechless. Speechless because I'm just in awe, in awe of this beauty. You might for sure have recognized it and uh, if you all know how to read, you have seen the title. So you know that this is the Spyderco, the very well-known Spyderco Techno. And uh, I gotta tell you that uh, I mainly wanted to do this video uh, to show you this beautiful anodization made by a custom knife maker, French custom knife maker that uh, yeah became uh, one of my friends now. Uh, his name is Eric de Montgivere. You should uh, check my video about the Spartacus. He did this knife. This guy is just insane. Uh, insane. This anno is just absolutely perfect. And uh, I really love that. He did this anno on the Beat Blast from the Techno. And uh, that is one of the things that I like the most uh, is Beat, Beat Blast anno. Because, you know, when you get to take it in your hands like that, you have all the wares of, uh, of the, the oil of your finger that makes you know for different pattern uh, every time you, you you hold the knife here that was the marks the bronze mark of my fingers you have seen how it was blue and look at that now when I return it you have all the the fingerprints this is even if it's bit blast uh, it, it is really a, a finger fingerprint friendly knife but that is something that is uh, th that I really like because you know um, if you just use the oil of your finger after getting you know with the, al the alcohol getting the blue back if you just do it like that look at that like with the just recent Curtis uh, F3 uh, review that I did uh, you have the same finish, you know, there are some shades of blue and bronze that is just mind, mind blowing. I absolutely, absolutely love that. So I wanted to catch this beauty and look, oh yeah, look at how the superb uh, contrast, I'm sorry, sorry about that, the contrast with the, the anno here and the, the blue G10 backspacer is just crazy. Crazy awesome, crazy. Thank you, my friend, Eric. You are uh, an excellent friend because, uh, yeah, that's what you are. Actually, he offered me uh, this anno. He doesn't want to be paid. Uh, he wants to be paid only if I buy his knives. Uh, this is, he's doing that just for, uh, you know, because he's a good friend. So again, thank you so very much, my friend. Now I'm going to go back to the table for a tabletop review. The light uh, won't be as good uh, since I don't know how to stop a video before 12 or 13 minutes. I guess that I was, yeah, even if it's a very, very well advertised knife, since to me it's the most beautiful of all the techno uh, in the area, why not doing an overview of this knife? I'm sorry, the light won't be as good as this one, but uh, I won't be able, or I don't know, why not, you know? I'm still young. Let me try to to stay like that. You know, uh, I'm standing up and just in front of my, yeah, my kind of modern uh, art, uh, you know, it's not painting, uh, whatever. Okay, so review, stand up, review, not a tabletop, stand up, review. Uh, that's my style. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So this knife, it is a very, very well-known knife, like I said. Uh, full titanium scale with a hell of a great uh, blue G10 backspacer. Actually, you don't see that uh, that backspacer a lot on the video, on the pictures. Usually, it, uh, it is advertised like that or like that. But uh, some of you might. Um, my miss the, the, the fact that it has a just a nose some backspacer in blue G10 and uh, if you have seen one or two of my videos you know how I love blue G10 so full uh, titanium backspacer in G10 one of the, uh, every feature of this knife you know what let's let's make it simple every feature in this knife I love and to me 
it is one of the most uh, EDC knife around, one of the flawless uh, production knife that I've ever uh, experienced uh, to, to, to have really, uh, you know, mostly I buy knives because I like them. So if I make a video, a review out of them, that would be because I like them. But this has to be, you know, in my top, top five knives for, for sure, uh, production, custom, everything included. Uh, because it has everything that that is one of the most carryable knife around the weight is just perfect uh, it, it is a small knife and yet uh, you have a great secure grip when you hold it in, a, in your hand um, again look look at that the finish is just absolutely awesome you don't have the holes that i hate the the clip you have this you know lines here and there are even not uh, ugly you know it's not like the, the holes that you have for the other clips so it's only a tip of carry on me so that's fine by me uh, like i told you again i don't care uh, if it's tip up or tip down as long as i don't have the the, the awful holes so it makes for righties and lefties and tip up carry only and again i don't care uh, to me in my opinion i think that tip down is better with the spidey hole because when you hold your you know let me try to change my hands i'm sorry about that i'll be better with my right hand oh yeah much much better you know again when i uh, i made a, um, my statement about that when you hold when you take off your knife take out your knife from your pocket like that with a tip down carry it is ready to operate so to me it's better for a flipper it's a difference uh, but I don't care. I don't care. I take it off like that. I turn it and I open it. I don't care as long as there are not those holes, those awful holes. So uh, every feature is look at the, the, the hole here. And uh, it is a very reachable hole. And, and in that case, I have to say that uh, this knife, even if it's uh, made for a left, uh, lefty carry, it's not made for uh, for lefties because here it's the hole is huge hole and it's very reachable with the thumb here i'm sorry about that i failed uh, dramatically <laughs> but it's very reachable hole uh, but for lefties really to get to that hole it's very difficult uh, with the index i'll try not to fail this one yeah you see with the index it's fine for the righty but you can't put your your index in the small area here and flick it like that but i guess you know what this video is going nowhere so i will try to do it with my left hand let me see sorry about that it is just awful and uh, i by any means i'm not a left lefty hand but really believe me uh, you, you have to be a very skilled to open this knife with your with your left hand and i'm not skilled at all with my left hand so that would be the only flow for the lefties and thanks lord i'm righty so i don't care at all uh again uh what what, what uh, yeah oh yeah the blade ratio that is something that i really really love look at the blade ratio for a small like that knife like that look at the handle here uh, you have a lot of real estate for, uh, real estate for cutting tasks uh it, it, it is very sturdy knife and very usable again uh, for, for for edc and for for a lot of tasks uh great and the ratio like i said uh between the handle and the blade is just uh sabenza like look at that the tip is almost going out uh yeah from the handle you you you, you, you could almost you know touch it uh, if you put your finger la like that um what oh yeah look at this blade uh, i'm gonna go to the table now because unfortunately uh, if i want to talk to you about the, the the thickness of this blade i will probably need to make a comparison so it was half a stand-up review and half tabletop review this video is going absolutely nowhere uh, i said that i was erratic but uh, at this level uh, it's an art the art of erratic Okay, so what can I compare it to? Uh, if I take 
a huge knife, let's say a strider for example. It is every bit as thick, uh, almost as thick, yeah, as thick as the strider. I could stop the comparison here. I mean, what small knife like that can compare to a strider? That is just insane. Look at that. I mean, it's the, 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 the little baby here, but uh, if we take the blade uh, thickness, actually it's kind of, uh, of amazing because it's almost the same spine here, if you look at that. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the small baby, but only in length, because in, in um, width, not width, uh, the thickness is yeah almost as thick. And I will probably stop the comparison here because if you take like for example a, a 24, the 24 is almost ridiculous. <laughs> the spine of the 24 is almost ridiculous compared to the techno. So that is a feature that is just crazy for a small... I, I call that, uh, and I'm not the only one actually, I uh, didn't uh, invent anything, I call that a small huge knife. Uh, some might call that a small big knife, I call that a small huge huge knife. Um, yeah, you know what, it's all over 11 minutes, I will probably stop here, uh, but not before telling you how smooth this knife is. The action is just perfect. Uh, for sure, there is no blade play whatsoever, front to front, side to side. This knife won't go anywhere. Look at the stop in here. Look at the engagement here. This is a rock solid knife. It is a tank of a knife. It's small, but it, it couldn't be stronger uh, than that. So most definitely, this is um, this is one of the knives that I would recommend uh, the, the most. It, it is pricey, but everything is just perfect. And oh yeah, I didn't talk about the the, the uh, yeah the stone wash first, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I might yeah I might have to go back to the light for uh, this finish of finish of this video. Look at this awesome awesome finish of, uh, of the stone wash. Uh, the spidey here, uh, you know, this knife comes from the the amazing Taishung Taiwan factory. Uh, really, it amazes me uh, that this factory is by far the, the, the best of the Spyderco. All of their last releases, the best collaboration with knife makers comes from uh, Taishung. And still, you hear uh, here and there uh, some people saying, oh, I wish it was made in Golden or I wish it was done in uh, Seki City, uh, Japan. But uh, that is just insane. By far, by far, Taishan Taiwan is the best from their factory. Quality control, fit and finish, I mean, it, it, they all pale in comparison uh, to Taiwan. Uh, and everything is perfect. Again, and, and, and also, yeah, one of the features that I love is that, you know, uh, engraved uh, 3D uh, Spidey here. For those of you who have uh, Spyderco from uh, Taishan, you know what I mean? You, you feel it with your finger like that. No one does that, nor, nor, um, nor uh, Golden, nor um, Seki City. So that is just, just also awesome. Again, uh, just turn around this knife and uh, try to show me just one flow. Uh, here is the logo of the knife maker and don't try me on the name of this Martin something, I don't know. It's coming from Europe. Uh, this is one, uh, the shape of one of his customs uh, it has yeah really is a nice knife maker uh, and the techno again uh, is just yeah, probably one of the one of my best spider for for a long time now uh, here is his logo uh, kind of enzo like logo you know uh, overall it's kind of enzo like knife also you know what it, it, it is it reminds me of the albatross from uh, from Boker, which was a failed knife. It was an awesome knife in design, awesome, awesome knife in design, but it was a failed knife because uh, quality control was just poor, like you couldn't believe. Uh, after that, you have also another knife that reminds me of that that I have also, uh, which is the Pipsqueak from uh, from Name Blackwood and the collaboration with uh, Boker is just excellent. Those small, big knives are just crazy, crazy, great knives. 
so check for the techno and if you have the chance to have a friend like mine that does uh, amazing work on the on the tile like that for the anodization just do it and that would be the end of this insane video so yeah i'll catch you for another one if i have again uh, something interesting to say bye bye